Let us welcome our Minister of Police, General, Te General Peggy Tele. But Mamanga Ung, our Amhele Minister of Arunaga Matoho. The Minister of Police, General Peggy Kele, and the entourage, they are here to ensure that all of you in Mangawu are and feel safe during this festive season, to ensure that, that all operatives are doing what is expected of them, to ensure that you all have a safer festive season. As soon as they've taken their positions, the general salute will be played by the SAPS Free State Band, and the Minister of Police will be the only one who acknowledges the salute. We will all remain standing during the playing of the general salute. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our event today, where now we have the visit of the Minister of Police, G General Peggy Kele, who is together with uh, the SAPS top management and other stakeholders to ensure that all the operatives are performing their duties during this festive season, so as to ensure that you enjoy your festive season. We are going to commence the program of the day, which is led by Colonel Mbambo, and we are going to request our Reverend, Reverend Nibe, to open the proceedings with scripture reading and prayer. From the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. It reads as follows Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. This is the word of God. I'm not going to say much, but I just want to note the importance of the watchman, the responsibilities of the watchman. He has a huge responsibility, and one of those responsibilities that while others are sleeping, he doesn't sleep. He's more concerned about the safety I think today we are honored to have our minister to come and look for us in Mangawung. How are we doing? During this pandemic, I want to say, don't make a mistake to think that while God is silent, he is absent in our lives. Whatever we are going through, God is with us. Come now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, in need of hope, we come before you for a safer country, for a better life. In times of despair, we invite your holy presence to come and renew our hope. In everything that comes across in our minds and our lives, we want to conquer because you know that we have a watchman over our heads. Come, Holy Spirit, dine with us when we're about this event Come and take control. Come and intercede on our behalf. We don't have power and control, but you are the only one who trusts and we rely. Come, be with us. Touch us one by one. When you bless us, don't forget our families back at home. Hide them under your spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
Thank you very much, Reverend Nibe. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now call to the stage our MEP for police, Mr. Stan Machinini, who is going to give us the welcoming address. MEP. Thank you very much, uh, police men and women that are gathered here today, the people of Mangaung, the Minister of Police, Roads and Transport in South Africa, and his deputy and the senior management of SAPS that have arrived in the Free State. I'm welcoming you on behalf of the leadership of SAPS in the province to say this is the Free State. Wonderful work. We are fast approaching the festive season. And in this festive season, men and women that are here today, I want to state what I normally say. It's not clear, but it's not clear. It's not clear. It's not clear. It's not to the law. But we have to say that we have to say that we have to say Let me raise this matter. Don't allow a person, a stranger, to assist you to withdraw money in the bank, especially in the ATM. We have to say that security. Don't allow that person to assist you because the next moment your money is going to be there. All of us, we must have a festive season that is joyful together with our families. We know what the president has said, adhere to the regulations because the COVID is not yet out. The COVID is not yet gone. All of us, we must respect, keep the social distance, put your mask on at all times. I know some of you some of us are feeling uncomfortable with a mask on, but my plea to all of you is that please put your mask on, wherever you are. Don't do it for the police when they come closer to you, but do it for the safety of our people, for the safety of the people of the province. Minister Bekitel and Ndatematale from National Minister and Deputy Minister, you are welcome in the province, Baba. Uh, just feel free to talk to us, and everybody will are here to listen to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, MEP. We will now request uh, the Deputy National Commissioner, Lieutenant General Masemula, on behalf of the National Commissioner, to give us the purpose of the day. General Masemula. Uh, thank you, Program Director. Let me take the opportunity to recognize uh, Let me take the opportunity Thank you very much. Uh, let me take the opportunity once more to uh, acknowledge the Minister of Police, General Kela amongst us, the Deputy Minister of Police, uh, Dr. Kassel Matale, the MEC for Roads and Transport in Free State, Dr. Mashinini, the Provincial Commissioner, Lieutenant General Motuignani, and Hair Management, Senior Officers, Officers on Parade, and Neba Tuomangaung. Uh, I'm going to tell you about why we are here. Uh, briefly, the reason why the minister is here is to come and evaluate and assess how you are implementing uh, Operation Festive Season as launched in Putarichawa, 30th of October, which is in your province. We come in to evaluate how you are doing with it. And of course, also motivate you, men and women in blue and brown, to make sure that you are on track, to make sure you are doing the right work. Focus areas, I will repeat again what we was said at Kutadichawa. The first focus area is to make sure that we combat, prevent, 
end, make sure we investigate gender-based violence. Focus area number two uh, is to make sure that we pay attention and fight and combat all aggravated robberies, including wanted suspects in that regard. Focus area number three, we must make sure that while we know there is amnesty, but we must search and get all illegal firearms and ammunition amongst our communities. And where there are licensed premises in terms of firearms, we must make sure that compliance in terms of uh, the Farm Act by both dealers and gun owners uh, is complied with. And of course, second-hand goods dealers, be it big or small, we must make sure that they are also in compliance. And where there are events, we know in terms of the Disaster Management Act that it is, there is limitations. We must make sure that they comply with uh, SASRIA. Uh, the fourth area is bylaw enforcement. I presume Mangaung as a municipality, there are bylaws. Those bylaws must be complied with. No making noise to another one and so on. And the fifth area is your border security. You have a lot of borders in this province that are going to Lesotho and so on. So you must make sure that part of free state is not exported to the next country. It remains in free state. All what goes is legal. That's what we must do. And the, the sixth one is to make sure that road safety, even though it's Christmas, road safety is complied with. No drinking and driving on the roads, no unroadworthy vehicles. The last and the seventh focus area is the current state where we are. Make sure that in terms of the COVID, disaster management, all the regulations are complied with. I thank you, Program Director. Uh, thank you, Program Director, the Minister of Police, General Bekikele, the MEC in the province, the Deputy National Commissioner, uh, Lieutenant General Masemula, and the Provincial Commissioner, all generals present here, uh, members of the CPS, they have seen the chairperson here, and the entire executive from the province, members of the South African police present here, members of the media. It's my honor and uh, privilege to stand before you to present to you the Minister of Police, General Begitele, as we request those who are seated to stand and the one who sanitizes here to come and sanitize as we rise to welcome the Minister of Police, General Begitele. Over to you, uh, Uto Sanitizer. Thank you. We may be seated. Oh, none attending in Asala. Everybody, good morning. Good morning, uh, Deputy Minister, the MSC, Tadu Mashinini, uh, Deputy National Commissioner, uh, Mayor Musonyane, the Provincial Commissioner, all senior uh, management, the chairpersons of our uh, community structures that are working with the police. CPFs and the rest of us, uh, good morning. Uh, Mapolisa, good morning. Mapolisa, good morning. Good morning, Mapolisa. Good morning, Mapolisa. Mapolisa, good morning. Good 
criminals must hear you here, man, yeah? Must hear your presence. It shouldn't as if I'm shouting alone in the empty stands. Criminals must know that you are here. Papa is a good morning! Yeah, I can see them running. I can see criminals running. Everybody here who are here because of the people of South Africa. We are not going to keep you here. Your job now is not to stand here and run on the parades. Your job is to go out there and deal with the two issues that are at hand at the present moment. We planned as the national leadership, both the ministry and the management, to say we'll have an operation during Christmas that is called Operation Tight Grip. It's Operation Tight Grip. Operation We are dealing with Operation Tight Grip here. That we launched at Putatichaba. We are coming here to check and remind you that is not over yet. It's not over because we have just started. South Africans, they expect, they are waiting for us to be able to be safe on their roads, to be safe in their houses, to be safe on the, um, on the parks, to be safe wherever they go. Now, that you are here, your job is one, is to bring and create hope around South Africans. Your job is to make sure that as people come in this city of Mangawung, they are safe as they walk, as they take their money. I want to remind you that your job is not prescribed your job description is not prescribed by your minister, is not prescribed by the president, but the prescription of your job is in the constitution. If you go and read the constitution, section 2053, it tells you your job is to protect, your job is to combat, your job is to investigate crime, your job is to make sure that inhabitants of South Africa are safe, your job is to uphold the law, but your job is to enforce the law. That's what the Constitution says. So nobody specializing. Your job was prescribed and described is there. Yours is to follow that these things happen. But as you do this job, as you police people, you must understand that you are guided by the law, and that law guides you under so the law guides you under the policing under the tradition of human rights we are policing under human rights now I always remind people that police are humans so which means you have rights of human rights. As the law says, especially in the Criminal Procedure Act, Section 49, you must protect the citizens of South Africa if they are under attack or facing the danger. You must protect their rights. You also have rights that yourself you must protect. As you protect these rights, the law instructs you how to do it. The part of it, now, I saw yesterday uh, Deputy Minister, as they were talking on news, that clearly says uh, a police, uh, Amapoisa must use the force. I didn't say so, Mr. Amapoisa must use the force. I said Amapoisa must go to Criminal Procedure Act 49. That act says, you must protect 
the citizens of South Africa. But if your life is under threat as a member of the South African police and any other law enforcement that is legal, you must protect yourself. The law has a word today. Say you must use a deadly force. Again, it's not missing. So, who is written? Some church train was sending it in Africa. It's in the law. So, don't go around and say, LS said, police must use the force. You go and read that law, and the word is deadly, and deadly is one. There is no deadly something. And it's not me saying so. We're not going to have police here that are going to be attacked by criminals. We're not going to have communities that are going to be attacked by the criminals. And the police must fold, must fold their hands. No. That's why we give teachers jobs to, to work. We give doctors stethoscopes to work. And we give police tools to work. And that is for work. That is to make sure within the law that you protect South Africans from criminals and you protect yourself from criminals. In that protection of the citizens of South Africa, you will have to find an extra effort to protect women and children. I want to make this call. As the president has declared the gender-based violence and femicide as a second pandemic, I want the police to listen very well and attentively when it comes to the issue of the gender-based violence. I want to put it in two folds. When a woman comes to report at the police station, there should be not a single member of the South African police that will tell that woman to go home and negotiate. You are not negotiators. Once a woman reports that is being abused by the so-called men, because any man that a, any man that abuses a woman is not a man. That's a half man. If it is a half man, you don't tell that woman to go home to negotiate. She will come for the second time. That woman to say, "But I can't sleep home. This person threatens my life." This person kicks me around, and you tell that woman to go and negotiate. She won't come back for the third time. Not because she doesn't want to come back, because that time she's dead. So it's a clarion call to the members of the South African police that take the gender-based violence issue very, very serious. When they report it at the police station, you jump, you stop other staff, and to deal with the matter of the abuse of women and children. That must be the priority of the members of the South African police, the abuse and the, the rape and all other sexual offenses against women. But I want to come back to my organization that we work with, the South African police themselves. Remember, Todd, as you work with these women, as the members of the South African police, are not there for your pleasure. They are there to work and serve just like you. And it's not the job of men, as I usually hear, that men must protect women. Women are fully capable, are fully developed human beings to do things on their own and to defend themselves. What they need is a space to live as full human beings. They are not half human beings to be protected by you. They are not your pets. Because when you go on saying protect women, you regard them as your pet. You regard them as your cat. You regard them as your dog. And they become the part of your pets that they are capable of defending themselves. Allow the woman to grow and fly high. They are capable. Please make sure that our women, our children are safe. Women must be able to walk anywhere in the part of the country, any time of the day, any time of the night, from wherever she wants to move to wherever she wants to go. 
without fear of rape, assault, insults, and everything by women. So that's a call. All of us, we must sing and we must pray and we must hold high and say, South African police service members, they will work hard to create the safe environment for women, children, and all South Africans. That's, a, that's why. But criminals must not have a space. Space for criminals must be squeezed. There must be a shortage of oxygen for criminals. Make criminals feel that they don't belong here. Make criminals understand that they are not part of us. It doesn't matter where you find these criminals, in the city center. Mapoisa, chase them wherever you smell them, wherever you see them, wherever you touch them. Make criminals uncomfortable. Make criminals keep running and never stop. Get them under their beds when they sleep. Get them in their showers when they shower. Get them anywhere and say, criminal, you are a criminal, and take them where they belong. That would be important. Make South Africans say, it's nice to be here because you have created that environment. But now, I listened to Minister of Health speaking yesterday. Stuff that is telling is scary. Buyelu COVID. Unekameli shage manje. Usene smong. COVID-19 bani. Variant. It's COVID-19 variant. I'm told that it's harsher than the first one. And it started on the coastal towns. It started on the Western Cape, Eastern Cape, and KZN. And then went to Houting. But the inland provinces, this is one that is worse affected at the present moment. So don't dare to stop doing things that you're supposed to do as a prevention of COVID-19, no matter what the name is. Clean and wash your hands all the time. Sanitize. Keep the social distance. Like there, there is no social distance in our Tabamela. There is no social distance there. Keep the social distance and forever keep your mask on. My boy, sir, you remind them as you see them. Unfortunately, we don't have a rigid frame, legal framework to arrest them, but we keep on reminding them to say it's for your life and for the life of everybody. So do that and make sure that South Africans, they stay safe. From here, you will visit shipping without permission. When you come to a shipping, are you taking permission? Are you legal here? I now I know. They'll say Nango Gutele no Twala. They say Tele hates Twala. I'm not there about no Twala. I don't drink it. I don't want it. Uh, I can afford it. I can drink whatever I want to drink at any time. But I've decided not to. And there is nothing wrong with Utwala when people they drink alcohol and they respect that they are social beings. But when you drink and you ask the next morning, how did I come in my house in King Alley? Who opened the door for me is the problem. It might happen that somebody opened the door who happened to go up and got out of the door. So you respect this thing. And we believe that alcohol is part of the main generators of crime. That's why we need to come close to alcohol. It remains one of the main generators of murder. It remains one of the main generators of rape and abuse of women and domestic violence. It does remain that thing. 
So it's important that the laws of alcohol are kept so that people, they do everything within that law. So it's important. So you go, you visit these houses, those that are illegal, shut down, and make sure that there is no John Vulligate here. This Christmas should be John Vulligate so that we make sure that things are done in a proper, proper way. So we're glad that you are here, Emanga Wong. We're glad that you are here together with you, and we wish you the Merry Christmas. And my boy, sir, remember, when everybody else say Merry Christmas to you and to everybody, it means we'll be safe, and that is you in our head. Stay in the epitome of our safety. Stay there. Stay alert and say, South Africans, here we are. We'll be working together with you. And South Africans, here we are. Our job is to make sure that we are all safe and keep it that way until all South Africans, they feel that they are safe. Otherwise, you go, walk, walk with them and make sure that every woman, every child, every citizen, every elderly in South Africa is safe because there is you. Otherwise, we wish you Christmas yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Be protected in both enemies, the crime, criminals, and the COVID-19. We have lost too many of you, by the way. We have lost too many of you. In the country, we have lost almost 300 of you. That is a big number. We would love that we all stay together, but nothing we can do. We are frontline workers. We need to be there. We can't retreat. We need to make sure that everybody's safe. But do the best to stay safe. Your country needs you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister. Uh, as we prepare for our provincial commissioner of the three states, Lieutenant General Bailey Mutanyan is going to do the vote of thanks. I believe also to also facilitate the handing over of the vehicles as you see. We have about 138 vehicles that are supposed to be handed over, but only a few will be handed over symbolically. I will hand over to the General, General Mutanyan, to do that process and thereafter end with the vote of thanks. Thanks, Program Director. To our Minister of Police, General Becky Kele. To our Deputy Minister, Ndate Kassel Matale. Our MEC Police Routes and Transport, MEC Machinini. Deputy National Commissioner, Lieutenant General Masemula. I see you are having members from Red Cross, Customs, members of the police. Good up. Good morning. A very good morning. Free start is so hot today. I thought that is already in the afternoon. But Minister, I want to say that from the police in the free state, we are very much grateful about you visiting us. As I said earlier, it's the fifth time you came to free state in 2020. And I know that in 2021, you are going to double the number now. Because you coming here, it means a lot to us. I was listening to you, you when you were visiting one of the provinces where, when you said you see Operation Loose Grip. And I said to the members, you must not come to Free State and you still talk about loose grip. But after what we unfolded this morning, we could say that it's not loose, but it's not tight. You are somewhere in the middle. But if your visit will make sure that it's going to be Operation Tight Grip. That one we promise for sure, Minister. Deputy Minister, thank you so much for accompanying the Minister to come and see the state of readiness in the province. Thanks for you being there for us and all the advices. General um, MC Machinini, and MC Machinini can call me 12 midnight and say that General Rosinek in the qualification, let's go there. If MC can wake me up at 12 o'clock midnight, all of us are going to wake up at 12 o'clock midnight. We're going to make sure that the communities are safe because that one is not negotiable. 
when I was listening to the minister, he was also out outlining Vision 2030 for us. And I think we have taken note of that because women out there, they are not safe. And I can see that on parity, we are having many women. And we're going to make sure that we are going to double the effort. Minister, the parade was much bigger, but because of the time and other operations, members have to withdraw. They are already busy with other operations. General Masemula, thanks so much, my brother. Give one of Busabelo, Minister. He's coming from Busabel. 50 kilometers from here. General Masemula, so you are home. If you look at the POP, they are not working in the Free State. You must know that is the legacy he left in the Free State. Thanks so, so, so much. Muritu Nibe, you reminded us of the prevenient grace to say today we are here because of his grace. Thanks so much. Senior managers in the Free State, members on parade, colleagues at large, the minister has spoken. Ours is just to go and comply. Minister, Deputy Minister, and MEC, as well as General Masemula, they had their own commitment, but they deemed it fit for them to come here, especially with the handing over of vehicles. We are going to hand over 136 vehicles, new vehicles for festive season. But on parade, we are having 55, but the symbolic handing over will be done to five vehicles only. But I want to say to all the drivers and other colleagues who are here, every time you start that car, think about our principals who came here to hand over those vehicles. Because it's the promise you are giving to the communities to say that we are ready, they have resourced us. And it will be said for them to get complaints to say that, that vehicle, those vehicles that they are not used for the papers they've been uh, distributed for. So let's make sure that end of the festive season, we know every year January minister releases the successes. Free State being one of the smallest provinces, we must be closer to Gaute because we are resourced now. So really, thank you very much, minister and colleagues, and may all of us have a blessed Christmas, and may God bless, not forgetting the media houses. Every time, at least for Free State, I don't have challenges. Lekwala soka maponis. Continue to do that and continue to spread the message to give crime to our communities. Thank you so much.
Kuta Tishaba people are complying when it comes to COVID. I saw them that day, yeah, they must keep that way. But I'm not going to be here. So, what can you ask? Yeah, what can you ask? So, thank you, General. Oh, thank you, General. Thank you very much. General? Give it to the driver, one, two, three, yeah. here, if it does work. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Captain. Uh, this is what station? Fezzi Le Dabi District. How many do you have? Ten. Ten. Ten minutes. Ten. So there will be no criminals. <laughs> 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 These guys will just solve this issue. Ah. They understand. Chase them. Chase them to the yeah. river everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Some streaming live. We are here. Keep our people safe. Yeah. This is the state's resources to be used on behalf of our people, not for shopping. What are they about? How much are you holding us? Okay. I guess we are here to my end. Thank you very much. Let's feel the thing. Guys, take off. I'm on Toyota. That's a good thing. That's a good part. All what needs to happen is taking care of it. Toyota. It's a good car. This one is from It's got a lot of Zamazamas. Yes, but I can see you're pretending to deal with them. How many did you get? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, Zamazamas must run and live forever underground. They must not come out, right? <laughs> Look after them. This is a resource for the people of South Africa, not to be abused by ourselves. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So long, so long license. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. uh, here, we're from. We're from which district? 
It's from Tabo Mufusa Nyan. Tabo Mufusa Nyan, okay. But this one is entry Harry Smith. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you, General. Thank you. Thank you, General. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Entry, Mr. Minister. Entry. You can sit on the entry this one. How many are they? We are not showing the number, but we are in this one, the GTI. Yeah. I think our GTIs are mostly for controlling the. So where where are the GTIs? Why do they give such a powerful car to two accidents? General, this car we're not supposed to ride it. Why are they? You lost it, the key. General, uh, Colonel? Why is it an accident? Do you know? I just want to. The, the key? Yeah. Minister is. Oh, yeah. thank you, man. There you are. Sir. Okay. Uh, who's supposed to get the key here? Okay. 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 Uh, use it properly. Uh, prevent those accidents in the airport. But uh, I would love to see that. These cars do extra than accidents. Must be seen and visible on highways, chase away criminals, respond when you're supposed to, to take those cars and those high power criminals and respond. So, to be doing accidents and other things. Okay? Thank you very much. Let's see how it's done. Yeah, yeah, let, 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 let's, 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 let's film it, let's film it. Don't drive slow, yeah? yeah? Respond, be there for the people of South Africa. These resources are for people of South Africa to be safe. We are entrusted to the safety of all of us, and we are looking upon you to be safe. That's why we need to give you... I said it there, we need to be told. This is part of it. Don't you pay it to This is part of it. And they must be used on behalf. Not for shopping, not for candy symptoms, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Flying squad. It's your response as South African report that they are distressed. Fly on the road, you are there first, you respond, 
and build resources on behalf of South African population. So present and make sure that they are Thank you very much. I am not a guy. I don't know what to do. 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 I don't know you uh, one thing, you are there, sir. You respond, South Africans are safe, and South Africans are putting their lives on their hands, and these resources, you think they want to help us get those Please go there and make sure that's right. In the beginning, we thought you have an engagement. Let's hear what our speaker was. I'm 